Hey, this is Oto Dojo, and I'm going to show you how to make this sort of chromatic curling uh, displacement effect. And yeah, let's get started. So we'll just begin by setting some parameters. And one will be res, another um, will be range, which will be 0 0.1. Um, and another is step, which we'll keep at 0 for now. That's kind of like a extra thing to do. So we're going to put in a noise top and turn off monochrome and change the pixel format to 32-bit float RGBA. Then we're going to add in feedback and this feedback is going to go into a limit. And this noise will go into a displace. And the limit will go into the displacement. And change the source midpoint to zero. And turn on normalization for the limits with the positive and negative ranges for the max and min. Enable quantization and put the step in the position step. We're then going to do our uh, chromatic effect with the HSV adjust. And I have some parameters here for the saturation range 0.653, value range 0.212, value falloff 0.145, nine for the hue offset, 1.12 saturation multiplier 1.19 for the value and these you can just play around with it's just kind of a reference point for me and add a composite the lighter color operation and you're going to put the displace in there then put a feedback in front of the hsv adjust and this displace should be going into this feedback and this composite should be going into this feedback now for both of them let's add a keyboard in shop to be able to reset the feedbacks And if we want to see what we're doing, let's uh, split the screen, disable backdrop tops, and make this a top viewer. Let's add a null at the end, just for good measure, call it end. And we can see that I forgot to put in the resolution for the noise. Now it's better. Okay. So you already see that chromatic effect. And what we're going to do now is add another displace after the HSV adjusts. And change the source midpoint to zero. From the limit, you're going to add a um, math. Divide by 256 and add that to the displace and now we get to see uh, some of the chromatic displacement effect and if we modify some parameters on the noise to like zero for offset then we start to get the yeah so we uh, achieved our effect from the beginning uh, but now we can explore some the parameters. So step, uh, you begin to have more 
of like a broken monitor type effect. And if you increase your range, um, it'll cause more displacement. So if we decrease it, it'll be more subtle. And uh, you'll have some more coalescing. And yeah, you can explore more and change the effects of the noise. Um, if you bring the range all the way down to zero, it'll just start to um, m morph and meld into one thing, and which is kind of cool. <coughs> but yeah, uh, you can have fun with this. And the file will be available to Patreon subscribers only. And I'll be delivering some more uh, content for only Patreon subscribers in the coming months, including some uh, unreleased tracks and other visual patches. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, hope you like this and hope you have a good day. <laughs>